how to apply a colourful gradient design like these to any shape in Affinity Designer. What you need to do, create the shape. You can create using any of these shapes here or your own vector designs. And then go to the appearance panel and you can find that in the window menu and appearance. In the previous version it was view menu and studio. And you've got it here fill, it's set to red at the moment. But what you can do, you can go to the swatches panel again in the window menu. And you've got here a selection of gradients. Please check out my earlier video, my previous video I should say, about gradients and how to create colourful gradients. And you can select any of the gradients you've got or create your own. And I'm just going to apply a gradient. Basic gradient, just applied via the swatches. Now I can use other gradients as well and I can combine. That's a bit later. So now you can see that. But what you can also do is you can add fills, which is very useful because you can add red, green, blue, but you can also add gradients. So go here, add fill. You can also right click and you can duplicate the existing one, which may be a better option if you don't want to go and select a different gradient, you just want to use the same one. But I'm just going to say add fill. So add fill. And now I can go and select a different gradient or use the same one. I'm just going to select that one, say. So I've got now two gradients applied to the same shape. Of course, I can't really see the other shape. I can see their bits of the design depending on the transparency. What you can do, go here and you can just run through all these blending modes. As you run through that, you can say, oh, difference. I like difference, but you can apply overlay, lighten, all of them, all possible just via here. But you can also go to the gradient tool, so select gradient tool, and you can modify that gradient. So you might want it to start from there, drag that upwards, or maybe drag it that way. You can also say, I want linear instead. So you go up here, along here, you've got all the various options, the control bar, go for linear. And again, you can modify it, you can modify the stops. Please check out my previous video on how to do that as well. And you can see now you've got a really colorful, amazing colorful shape design. But what you can do, you can always go to this one, select it, right click and duplicate. You can also, of course, delete it as well. So duplicate, and now you've got another one. And of course you can modify that again using the gradient tool. And you can drag across there and change the angle. You can also go to the swatches panel. You don't need to use the same gradient all the time. Always go and select a different one. So select maybe one of these ones. Now, obviously the gradients you've got will be different. So it's just select one like that. And then you can see that design. And again, you can change, tweak, modify, and continue to add more and more fills to make a very complex design. But once you've done that, you think, well, I want to save it. I want to store it away. Well, you can always use the styles panel. That's always very useful. So with the current selected shape, that's the key thing, make certain it's selected. You can then go over here and you've got different categories. Now I've got one here, fills and strokes. You will have different set of categories, but fills and strokes I'm going with and right click and add style from selection. So you've got a load of things, add category, rename, but you can add style from the current selection. So just click there and then it will be added here. So now what I can do, so I remove this and I create a different shape maybe like that, and it will default straight away to the basic gradient again. So if I go here, you can see it's got just that single fill. But you can always go back to the styles panel, again, window menu, and click. And straight away, it's been added. Or use one of the other ones that I added earlier. So great way of creating some very colorful shapes. As well as, of course, many other designs can be used with the same styles, and also adding fills. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.